in today's video we are going to take a look at a pentagonal prism and we'll keep it like this axis inclined to hp we'll be creating the orthographic projections what orthographic projections that means you have to create the front and the top view now the entire lecture has been divided into two parts in the first part we are going to sketch a 3d model of this pentagonal prism we are going to then incline its axis and we are going to observe how the front and the top view looks like once this 3d visualization is clear inside your head you can then go ahead with absolute confidence and create its orthographic projection that means you have to make an xy line vp above it hp below it and then on those two principal planes you can create the front and top views this is going to be a step-by-step -step approach and do watch this video right till the end if you have any doubts regarding projecting solids i'm sure those doubts will be clarified so here we go so we are talking about a pentagonal prism base edge is 25 height is 55 let me demonstrate that to you what is this sir this is a pentagonal prism what is the height sir height has been given as 55 these are the edges at the top these are the edges at the bottom or the base okay regular pentagon regular pentagon absolutely identical all of them are 25 millimeters each 25 millimeters each wonderful what's next okay it is resting that means the pentagonal prism is resting on an edge of its base in the hp okay resting resting on an edge of the base in the hp that means this base edge is in contact with the hp whereas the remaining base edges i mean this is the infer inference which you can extract remaining base edges are lifted up in the air why because the axis is going to make some angle right what is the angle that the axis makes on reading the question further we realize that the axis the axis is inclined to the hp at an angle of 45 degree any inclination with respect to hp is written or represented by theta what angle made with respect to hp any inclination with vp is written by phi any inclination made with the vertical plane wonderful sir what's next if you watch further we also have been given axis is parallel to vp so all of these conditions should reflect perfectly in your drawing and say one more thing this is version one this is version two this is version three the description might be slightly different but all of them will lead you to the same front view and the top view that means the same orthographic projection okay sir uh, here it is talking about a pentagonal prism base height has been given to us if you read the version one of the problem this version i'm talking about what you realize is that the axis is parallel to vp axis is inclined to the hp at 45 degree basis is in the hp in fact if you read all of these three descriptions the first sentence is absolutely same okay which talks about the base height base height and it also says that edge of the base is in hp edge of the base in hp axis parallel to vp here also axis is parallel to vp and from here on this is slightly different from here on it is slightly different in the version 2 we've been given that the base is making some angle with respect to the hp and that happens to be 45 degree here it is okay base is making an angle of 45 degrees and in version 3 we've been given that one of the rectangular faces sir where are the rectangular faces here they are one two three four five five rectangular faces are there one of which is making an angle of again 45 degrees with the hp any angle made with respect to hp is represented by sir represented by theta okay and the face is perpendicular to vp also here it has been written very clearly okay and the face is making an angle of 45 degrees with the hp so these are all the data which have been given to us if you observe this is common in all the three descriptions the only thing is that somewhere axis inclination has been given somewhere base inclination has been given and somewhere the inclination of rectangular face has been given even in these three data the one thing which is absolutely common is their inclination with hp now how do you construct or how do you create a projection for this case this is something that we'll be investigating as i told you there are two parts and first of all uh, i want all of you to take a look at autocad okay 
this is going to be basically your final drawing your final drawing is going to look something like this right i'll give you a step by step approach but first of all uh, let us take a look at it from a 3d aspect the position number one is going to be something like this but sir why have you placed it like this the reason being very simple i'm sure that all of you have seen my first video in this playlist of projection of solids have you seen it or not you should have seen it okay and in the first video i've explained what is the standard procedure if the axis is inclined to hp then what you are going to assume for step number one is that this solid is resting with its base on hp there could be a different problem also where the axis is inclined to vp by the way the axis is joining a line which joins this center at the top to the center at the bottom that's an imaginary line we call it the axis if it is inclined to hp assume this solid to be resting with its base on hp that is your initial assumption and that is why i have kept it like this right and you'll get one more reasoning if you watch carefully this edge over here has been kept perpendicular isn't it there is a proper reason behind this okay so do watch this right till the end to work out all of these things anyway sir so we have kept since the axis is inclined to hp so we have kept it like this okay no problem from where can you see the true shape of the base if you keep it like this from where can you see the true shape of the base sir the base true shape can be seen from the top and therefore you have to begin by creating the top view first and this is going to be your top view remember the internal angles are 108 degrees note this 108 degrees 108 okay <clears throat> sir how do you project all of these things onto this vp and hp can you please demonstrate i surely can take a look these are going to be the projectors so when you look at it from the front okay there are as many as five corners at the top right the corners at the top are a b c d e okay a b c d and e where are the corners at the bottom let me just show this to you are one two three and four and five okay so when you see this from the top this is what you get from the top it would appear as if there is an edge over here looks like a point but there is an edge right edge a1 edge b2 this is c3 d4 e5 and when you take a look at it from the front this is what you see okay d4 c e b a and yeah this is actually hiding 3 5 and 2 1 obviously with a dash since it is representing a front view okay so far so good sir uh, this is how you have made the projectors and the front view would be looking something like this okay that's the front view and obviously since it is in contact with the horizontal plane this is your top view okay done sir what's next let me just show this to you if it is possible this is how the top view would look okay uh, i think it would be better if i switch off the object for a while take a look this is going to be your top view in cyan and this is your front view green color thick and dark right that's position number one what do you do in position two sir we actually incline the axis what is the inclination sir it is 45 degrees you want to see here it is oh no 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 position two and here it is wonderful take a look beautiful as it has been asked in the question that you have to keep one base edge in the hp you can clearly see this base edge is in contact with the ground whereas the remaining base edges as i told you this one this one this one this person how many four base edges are lifted up from the horizontal plane you can see this very very clearly done done sir what's next you want to see how does it look from the front and top this is how it looks let me draw the projectors first of all take a look take a look wonderful it isn't it? these are the projectors for the front view whereas these are the projectors for the top view if you wish to take a look at the top view this is how it looks if you want to see the front view this is how it looks so that's the object these are basically the final projections okay which i have uh, tried to create in 3d and you guys need to make this right just watching the 3d version gives you a lot of confidence 
in terms of going ahead and drawing the projections isn't it <laughs> okay i think i think uh we are pretty much done with this and now let us go ahead and let us create the projections here we, here we go very very quickly okay x y line what did i just say keep it like this okay step number one step number two one two one two in step number one from where should you begin sir we will begin with the top view because the true shape of the base can only be seen from the top and make a pentagon sir how did you make this pentagon let me explain okay this is how i made it you first of all make a line like this done sir then at an angle of 108 degrees this way and an at an angle of 108 degrees this way 108 both okay this is how you need to approach it okay so when you reach these two points put an arc of radius 25 again with c as center put an arc again of radius 25 again the center section point is going to give you the final corner point of the pentagon obviously there is a pentagon at the top uh, and one also is there at the bottom so these are basically the points 1 2 3 4 5 and at the top we had a b c d e if i am not wrong okay sir there is one more thing which you need, need to do as i told you we have to construct the axis also how do you find the axis axis is basically uh, two points uh, which are connected to each other through an imaginary line one pointed as the at the top okay top one at the bottom how do you find it take a look at this very point this is the side opposite to it the this side center locate it and join done sir then consider this side any side for that matter this one is opposite to it that's the center join and the intersection point is going to give you the center done sir for making the front view this is what you need to do draw the projector lines what is the height sir height has been given as how much 55 make it okay if you watch carefully this is the edge d4 d4 if you watch carefully this is edge c3 c and 3 and just behind no 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 c3 yes c3 and just behind c3 edge you've got e5 edge e5 edge so there is this e there is this 5 similarly you can work this out i'm sure okay sir what's next just a second uh, let me go back to my slide okay so you've created this front view sir in the second step you instructed us to go for edge inclination but sir it is a bit difficult isn't it not difficult not that difficult take a look remember one thing if the edge is inclined at an angle theta then the base is going to be inclined at an angle of 90 minus theta please note this before going ahead i want all of you to note this down if the edge is inclined at angle theta then the base will be inclined at an angle of 90 minus theta in our case sir we've been given that the edge is at an angle of 45 degrees so 90 minus theta would give us base inclination with hp that is also going to be 45 degrees 45 degrees is a unique case okay done sir follow the steps what is this sir this is the base isn't it this is the base let me erase done this is the base pentagonal base this is the pentagonal top wonderful we are going to make sure that this base is at an angle of 45 degrees so we are going to mark a point over here and then at an angle of 45 degrees we are going to simply draw a line like this okay a line like this then i'll take this much as the arc and i'll take this as the center that is two dash one dash and i'll make an arc over here this is going to give you my point four dash in the same fashion you can work out this point and this point of the axis like this done sir now with the help of a mini drafter you can see this is 90 degree angle okay now keep one scale of your drafter over here the other scale perpendicular scale through that you can make lines 55 again 55 well this point has to be searched okay that's how you need to do it this has the center cut an arc done sir and similarly you can construct this entire front view in step number two okay step one to step two this is what you need to do 
is recreate. Dunza. Very easy. Finish this. Sir, we actually went for this angle as 45 degrees. If you extend, produce this, you will realize this angle also works out as 45 degrees. This is the angle made by the base. This is 90 minus theta. Then automatically, the angle made by the axis will be theta. Okay. Now, if theta by chance has been given as 30 degrees, then this would have been 60 degrees. Okay, we started by 45 degrees and we got 45 degrees. If we start with 60 degrees, we'll get to 30 degrees. Right? This is the funda that you all must follow. Now, let us take a look at this from the top. This is 45 degrees. Here it is. All the lines in the downward direction. Make sure it is very thin and light. 2 edge pencil. I mean, hold it lightly. Lines from the top view of step 1. Here it is. Okay. Let's say you want to locate all the points. So this is 4. This is 4. The intersection is going to give you 4. In the same fashion, this is A. This is A. Then this is 1. This is for 1. And that's also for 1. And yeah, this is how you need to approach. On locating all the points. This is what this pentagonal prism looks like from the top. Here it is. Take a look. Sir, actually, there is this looks like a line from the front, but here we know very well that there is a pentagon. Okay. The way we are looking at it, we won't see the true shape of the pentagon. The true shape is visible from over here. This is for the true shape, but here this is the apparent shape or the top view. Okay. It would look like a squeezed pentagon. You can see the difference. Here the pentagon is different, here it is different. Okay, so that's a squeezed pentagon. It is this is clearly visible. This pentagonal face is clearly visible. Secondly, what else is visible? Sir, D dash 4 dash. Yes, D dash 4 dash is visible. What else? Any other face? I'm talking about a face. Any other rectangular face? Yes, a uh, rectangular face. This rectangular face that is D4, 3, and C. Sir, that's visible to us. What else is visible? Sir, uh, D4, 5, and E is also visible. This face is also visible. Okay, so these are the faces which are visible. Let me change the color. This is also visible. And what about this one? This is also visible. These are the faces of the pentagonal prism that we can see from the top, observe from the top. Any edge which falls below this face is actually hidden. And to show the hidden edges, what we use are dash lines like this. Okay, you need to make them via dash lines. I don't know if you guys observed it or not that I have joined E with D, D with C. If you watch carefully, I haven't connected 3 with the 2. Why have I not connected? The reason being very simple as it is hidden, hidden below the face 4, 3, C, D. That is the reason why I have not shown it. But now I'm going to do it and let me do that. 5, 1, 1, 2, 2, 3. These are all the hidden edges. Let me make it one go. Okay, even this. Right? So, that's the entire solution. Let me zoom in slightly. That's the final front view. And that's the final top view. Wonderful. Must bana egg them. <laughs> Wonderful, isn't it? Everything clear. Okay. Sir, what about... Uh, uh, base edge in contact you can see this base edge is in contact this base edge is in contact with the ground okay so that condition has been taken care of the axis making an angle of 45 degree okay and also the bases are also making an angle of 45 degrees this is version 1 this is version 2 done sir but sir in version 3 we were talking about some rectangular face this is that rectangular face if you watch this is the rectangular face b a 2 1 a rectangular face is made up of four corners or four closed sides let's say here you can clearly see the angle made is 45 degrees and if you watch this is that rectangular face 1 a 2 1 if you extend this at an angle of 90 degrees if you extend it 90 degrees that means the rectangular face is making an angle of 90 degrees with the vertical plane if you still don't believe me let me take you to autocad let me satisfy your hunger for knowledge here it is they uh, go just watch it now watch it now right 
this rectangular face is clearly perpendicular to this this plane over here this plane vp but it is inclined inclined to this horizontal plane wonderful problem isn't it okay <laughs> i'm sure you 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 must have enjoyed making the projection of this pentagonal prism right so guys that was all from my side for today if you've got any doubt or queries do write them down in the comment section below and if you find this content helpful do like the video and share it with as many friends as you can in your whatsapp and telegram groups also subscribe to this channel because here i regularly upload content on engineering okay thank you very much and have a nice day